Hey, this is Roger. Thanks for watching. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I customize this truck to work in my stop motion movie. So this is a uh, Bruder 1 16th scale vehicle. And the thing I like about these vehicles is they're articulated in that the doors all open, the, uh, the tailgate opens, the wheels turn, there's suspension. The steering wheel actually will turn the wheels, but I, I, I usually uh, disengage that as I take it apart and uh, get it ready for, for film. And so it comes with a bunch of stickers. I got to take all the stickers off. And uh, I'm going to be painting this vehicle. So these vehicles are, uh, they're a bit expensive, but uh, you know, if you want the shot, you, you gotta pay for it. So I'm just waiting for the day where I can actually spend a million dollars to get a, a one shot, you know, like in Terminator or something. So here I'm just kind of using the sticky on, this, on the decal to take off the sticky stuff, the residue left on the, on the vehicle. Either that or some super sticky tape will do the same thing to take off the residue. So once I get all that off, then uh, I got to figure out how to take it apart, causing minimal damage, but being able to take it apart in a way that um, I can, you know, put all the LEDs and everything in and put it back together and still have, uh, be able to access, be able to take it apart to access the lights if I need to. So I've taken off the doors and uh, the bed and, and aside from the doors, everything is clipped. There's no screws holding these together. Uh, it's just a bunch of clips, so what I'm doing is I'm taking my little drill bit and just sort of drilling the clip until it collapses and disintegrates and falls apart. And to put it back together, I can just use the hot glue gun to, to put it together if I need to. And I'm taking out the steering mechanism and, uh, you know, taking all these parts. i got to run the wires from the back lights up to the front. And I think that's the steering mechanism I'm taking out. I later realized that I don't really need to take that out um, because taking it out does not do anything, doesn't give me any more range on the steering or anything. All right, so it looks like I got it apart, and here it is painted. So I painted it gray with Tester's model paint, and I'm putting the LED lights in. So I drilled that hole there with a the drill, and I'm sliding an LED light in and I'm checking it out and it works. And here it is in the dark. I just want to kind of get an idea of you know, how bright this thing is going to be, how much light it's going to throw. Now this thing on the top here is the five little lights across the top. And I have these nano lights that I'm going to put in. I bought a bunch of these nano lights off of Amazon, pretty cheap. It's like 10 bucks for 20 of them. So that they'll fit in the little uh, the little holes there um, to to illuminate these lights. So what I need to do is glue them into the hole and then run the wire along the roof in such a way that it's not going to be seen by the camera. So I'm clipping clip the uh, clip the thing back in there just to hold it in, make sure it doesn't fall out because it's not glued in yet. And there I have one light glued in. And what I'm doing is I just, just kind of fill that little hole there with, with gl hot glue and then just jam the light into it. And here you can see that they're all working. By the time we get to the end of the video, the center one will be out. And uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. Maybe just leave it out, I don't know. So I'm running it down the side, uh, running the wires. See, I'm, I'm taping the roof there so you, you don't see all the wires. And then I'm running the wires down the, the side next to the door to underneath the seats. And my first idea was to put the batteries in the front area um, under, the, under the hood. So this is the back the panel, the rear light for the rear panel. And I put a red light in there checking it out and there it is with the cover on it so it looks like it's going to be a pretty pretty good it's going to look pretty decent on camera and here we see the two the two tail lights are in and the headlights so we've got the headlights and tail lights in and i'm running them off of ac i don't have any batteries in there i'm just running from the from the ac right now there's the the signal lights are in the in the bottom there 
So at this point, I got to figure out how to put this thing back together and not pinch any of the wires, keep all of the wires, you know, so that they're, they're not uh, getting tangled or getting stressed or pulled. So what happens is I realize that if I have the, the batteries in the front like this, the hood does not open on this vehicle. So I'm going to have to be taking this thing apart every time to change the batteries, and that's not happening. So once I woke up here, I finally realized that uh, the batteries need to go somewhere easily accessible, and the only place to put them is in the back seat of the truck. Nine, I'm hooking together two 9-volt connectors here uh, in uh, series so that I have uh, double the voltage. And then um, using a resistor to make sure that I don't blow any lights up. And I'm just kind of checking to make sure everything's working because when I get it back together, the light's got to be working. I don't want to have to take it apart because I'm going to be gluing this thing back together, I think. I'm working on the, the batteries in the, in the front here, but here I'm realizing, you know what? I'm not going to be able to get to these batteries if I seal this thing up. This is the back underneath the bed, and I've run the wires all the way up to the front to connect to the headlights and then to the power source. So the, the, this is the first vehicle I've done this to, so I expect that the rest of the vehicles will be a bit easier now that I kind of have an idea of what I'm doing. And here I'm trying to just real, trying to figure out, well, how am I going to do this? Okay, so here I've got the, the truck back together, and I am now pursuing the idea of putting the batteries in the back seat. So by having the batteries in the back seat, um, they're going to be easily changeable. I'm also going to put a switch on there. At the time of the filming, I did not have the switches, but I have a little switch, so I can, I can put a little switch on the bottom. Otherwise, I'm going to have to connect wires and disconnect wires every time to turn it on. So here I'm still messing around with, uh, you know, what am I going to do about this battery thing? And it's getting to the point where it's, it's kind of frustrating. I, f I think that I have a tendency to overthink things. I'm, you know, kind of a per perfectionist, and and uh, I kind of do a lot of unnecessary stuff that I realized later I didn't have to do because that's not going to be visible on the, on the film. So here I'm uh, just trying to figure out exactly what's the best way to do this. So here I'm checking the lights at night, make sure everything works. And this is with the AC. And you can see that all the five lights on the top work. Everything's working, so we're all good. And here I am uh, rigging up the batteries in the back seat. So I just uh, drill a hole in the floor, bring the, bring the wire up through the hole in the floor, and just lay the batteries on the floor because uh, I don't think they're going to be visible. I'm not going to be shooting in such a way that you're going to see what's in the back seat on the floor of the truck. So now this is all battery powered and everything's looking pretty good. And uh, I decided to, uh, you know what, I might as well put some mirrors in there because, uh, I don't know, they might be visible. Anyway, this is an emergency blanket. It's like, it's like, uh, it's like real weak tinfoil, kind of. It's, 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 it's reflective, but it's, it's, it's not real firm. But it's uh, very reflect reflective. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking this piece of uh, hard plastic from uh, one of the packages that something came in, and I'm going to put some Elmer's glue and glue these, um, these two rectangles to it. And then I'm going to use a putty knife to kind of flatten it out just to make sure it's like super flat. So then when it dries, I just have to cut out the shapes and then pop them into the mirror holders. And then we've got some mirrors.
So if, I don't know if the light happens to catch it. It's gonna. It's gonna. We'll see it. I, I kind of doubt that we'll actually. That it'll actually be seen on film. But anyway. So now I gotta make the truck look distressed. So I'm uh, taking some uh, water-based paints here and uh, making the truck dirty. So I'm just kind of randomly painting. The one thing I don't want is uh, this is going to be kind of a rural rustic kind of setting. So I, everything's going to be kind of dusty and dirty. It's, you know, I don't want any brand new looking vehicles. And so by brushing the paint on and then just rubbing them like this, uh, it just kind of works it into all the nook, nooks and crannies and cracks and crevices. Uh, so it, it, you know, like real dirt would, it would stick in the crevices and the, and the little, you know, little small little areas. And there you can see that uh, looks like this guy's been out driving, hasn't washed his truck in a while. So it adds a little more character, you know, when it's seen on film. And then I just dip my, my finger in some water and uh, just kind of going over this water-based paint after it dries a little bit, uh, just to make it look like the dirt is on there as an accumulation of driving on the road for a long time as opposed to somebody just painting it on. You know, I didn't want any brush strokes. I didn't, you know, I wanted it to look as random as possible. And there we have it. And the wires sticking out of the bottom there to hook up to the AC power source. Um, I'm going to put a switch on there and just tuck all those up inside the bottom. But here's the truck, battery powered, with this final paint job. And I put a guy in there. There you can see it from all the different angles. So I think this is going to look pretty cool on film. And as it's flying down the road, towing the trailer behind it uh, in a nighttime scene, uh, I, I hope it's going to look like the shot that I have in my head. Anyway, uh, this is it, and I thank you for watching. I'll have many more videos coming out, including the filming and editing of the movie, setting up different scenes, um, just a lot of a lot of stop motion information for you. And you know, I only make these movies because I work in a TV station and I have access to all this stuff. I would have probably never started making these movies had I not worked here. And that's just a quick stop motion um, experiment just to see how it kind of moves in the dark. And it looks pretty good. So anyway, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Uh, post any comments you may have, any questions. And I'll try to address those in my future videos. Again, thank you and aloha. Aloha.